Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Jonathan Holst of Hamden. Grace and peace to all in the great state of Connecticut. This week on Bread of Life, we've been looking at the question, what is truth? And today I want to talk about love and truth. I moved to Connecticut from the United Kingdom, from Wales, many years ago. I remember the first time I saw blue jays in the backyard. Do you like blue jays? They look beautiful. But what do they sound like? I remember telling my wife something like, uh, wow, these blue jays, they don't sing to each other. They don't even talk to each other. They only yell and curse at each other. And these days in the media, on radio and TV and politics and even sports, it seems that there's a whole lot of yelling going on, yelling at each other. Have you ever been put on alert when someone comes up to you and says to you, I have something to tell you in love? But the scriptures tell us that love and truth go together. In Ephesians, we're told, speaking the truth in love, we're to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ. This morning, let's look at truth and love and how they always go together. Uh, They are actually inseparable because they both come from God, from the being of God. In his very person, truth and love are combined. They're what God that is in the simplicity of his being. We can't love someone and tell them a lie. And if we try to tell them the truth, and if we do it without love, then it isn't God's truth that we're presenting. It's a contaminated thing. It's it's become less than true. It's become part untrue. Love is truthful, and truth is loving. Or neither of them are actually truth and love. Love and truth are perfectly interdependent. Love without truth has no character, and truth without love has no power. One of the books in the Bible that perhaps is read less frequently, second letter of John, it says, I rejoice greatly that I have found some of your children walking in truth as we received commandments from the Father. And now I plead with you that you love one another. This is love that we walk according to his commandments. Speaking the truth in love is an instruction from God that tells us how to relate to everyone. It tells us particularly how to relate to those who, whose thoughts and messages don't match with the word of God. Today, sadly, in places of worship, we have a lot of sweet messages, sugar-coated words. But also, we've got a lot of harsh messages hammering people over the head with laws and commands, even those which aren't biblical. False teachers set out to deceive people with their words, shaping their erroneous message to receive the largest following with pleasantries or to convict and and compel the largest response with half-truth burdens. Truth, on the other hand, must be presented honestly and lovingly. We mustn't skip over difficult teachings to make our message more pleasant, or to give it more of an impact. False teaching destroys truth and love. And interestingly enough, I've often seen the same when trying to uh, help and counsel addicts. Addiction and idolatry, I don't mean idols made with hands now, but idols made in our hearts and our minds. Addiction and idolatry deny truth, and they deny love, love to self and love to those nearest and closest to them. Love for the truth and love for souls demands a response, a response that preaches and proclaims the gospel, the truths of man's sin and God's love. The truth is that the world is crying out for love. Every man and his dog will clamour a clamour for their own personal rights because they, they've been denied truth and love. But you'll find this in Christ Jesus. Do you know Christ, the way, the truth and the life, who loves you more than you can describe? Amen. You've been listening to Pastor Jonathan Holst of Hamden, our speaker for this week on Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.